It was a gruesome attack. A teenager accused of cutting off his mom's head. A year later, Oliver Funes Machado reached a plea deal with Franklin County prosecutors. Today, a judge found he is not guilty by reason of insanity. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy breaks down the crucial testimony from a forensic psychologist and reveals what will happen next. This morning, a Franklin County judge found Oliver Machado not guilty of decapitating his mother by reason of insanity. He believed that he was being directed by God to harm his mother so that she could go to heaven. A forensic psychiatrist took the stand, providing chilling new details into the mental state of the Franklin County teen. His psychosis contained elements of that hyper-religiosity marked by uh, delusions and hallucinations. There were evil spirits and dark shadows, including uh, possessing his mother. Dr. George Corvin told the court Machado suffered from extreme hallucinations and often heard what he believed was the voice of God. Mr. Machado described at a time being happy that Jesus made him happy and gave him wings because of what he was doing. Dr. Corvin believes Machado is most likely schizophrenic. He admitted that he was hearing a voice telling him that he should kill me and then a voice warning him that the correctional officer that was guarding us was going to shoot me. The judge asked Machado if he would like to say anything. Machado said he was sorry and that he hopes God will forgive him. Franklin County District Attorney Mike Waters says he has no question in his mind that Machado beheaded his mother. This is a very unusual uh, circumstance. Uh, this does not happen very often. Now Machado will be committed to a mental health facility here in North Carolina. I spoke with the district attorney. He tells me it's extremely unlikely that Machado will ever be released. But he said if that ever were to happen, he would certainly oppose it. Reporting in Franklin County, I'm Kelly Kennedy for CBS 17 News.